Good Monday, Makers. My name is Dave. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. We get to check out all of the wildly creative builds that have been posted to the community throughout the week and take a look at them. Let's get right into it. The first one we have is by Joey Lohman, a good friend over at Synergy Mill in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, they're a community workspace and maker space. And check this out. They did the Artisphere, which is this uh, citywide festival uh, featuring art. And they brought their Kaleidos sorry, not Kaleidoscope, tel Teleidoscope um, display and project over there. And this is really neat. They've got this whole turntable and then a camera that goes down a kaleidoscope prism. I'm sure he could do a better way of explaining it than me. But then it's all displayed on these two TVs here and here on either side. So it's really interactive, a cool thing that grabs your attention. And they bring that down to the artosphere. Um, but he used Maker Pipe as stands for the TVs. Uh, take a look at this. He's got a um, you know a triangle style stand, uh, which I think is a great way to use it. Joey's incredibly creative and is a great welder too, but decided to do it like this, uh, and which makes sense for a temporary structure that you're going to be using at a festival and then you know probably not so much anymore and take it down and use it for something else. But he incorporated this TV mount into this uh, triangle stand, and then he uses all T connectors, which makes sense because with the T connectors, you can rotate them around a horizontal pipe and get that angle that you're looking for. And that's exactly what he did here. Uh, really cool. There it is in uh, at the festival. And there's it from the behind the scenes, the behind the scenes look. Cool. Uh, Joey, awesome as usual. I know you were out there inspiring people and they do this all the time around Greenville and for the community in general. So definitely check them out uh, if you get a chance. Here is Gary. Uh, he's got a project where he wanted to secure his garden. Um, looks like, what is Gary growing? Looks like his wife is growing. Uh, and when we don't find out, uh, but it looks like some sort of, oh, <laughs> it's a strawberry prison. That's how he said. He, he His wife can get into the strawberry prison, but the squirrels and rodents can't get into the strawberry prison. Good. That's smart. Uh, but he's got this um, hardware wire. I think that's what it's called. Hardware wire. You know, it's just a, a tight mesh uh, that he stretched over the frame. Uh, used, it looks like, yep, he used half inch EMT to save a little bit of money. I can see the shims in the corner there that he used and just a simple rectangular shape covered in hardware mesh. Hardware mesh, that's it. Hardware mesh. I knew I was um, trying to get it, but it looks like he also used the T connectors to clamp on to his raised bed. Maximum use T connectors to make a hinge on the vertical. Oh, okay. So yeah, he did attach to the this raised bed, which looks like corrugated metal, but then also uses it as a hinge. Uh, that's great. And you can do that really easily um, if I oh, was using half inch EMT. So he's got some material in there and he's able to open. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. All right, Gary, awesome build. I'm glad that worked out. And then he also gives a uh, mention to what he used. He used a modified chop saw with guides for EMT and a special blade to cut the conduit. Nice work. I, that's really neat. I got to try that. I got to convert my chop saw and try cutting conduit with it. That's on the list. Tom, he built uh, this rail system for his fishing boat. And he used fishing pole mounts to do that. Take a look at that. He's got fishing pole mounts, which isn't a bad thing to have around the outside of your deck just in general. But then he's got the railing system with more, even better, fishing mounts that clamp right onto the EMT. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Uh, there it is from a 
a little bit back. Beautiful boat. And and really smart. Nice. We'll have to get uh we'll have to get and find out which he used and what he had to adapt. It looks like it's got a shim in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, we'll have to check that out and post that. So check out his post in the community if you want more information on that. I think it'd be super helpful. That's a great idea. Here is one by Nick, and he's got a 10 by 5 garden bin. And he wanted to keep the keep the critters out. We've been seeing a lot of this lately. Definitely protecting those gardens. He put so much hard work into them. Uh, there it is. And wrapped everything in black or or painted it. And then it looks like it uses a bunch of 90 degrees and T connectors to create that structure and then just mounts it right to the top of the wooden bed rails. Looks good, has a door there, um, enclosed in hardware cloth, the whole thing, and zip tied. You can see there's some zip ties with the hardware cloth. And then, uh, yeah, this one, uh, Nick turned us on to this clamp, or, or a few other community members as well. This is a clamp you can get on Amazon. It's made for PVC, one inch PVC, or three quarter inch PVC, I forget which, but uh, you can buy it. it. It's extruded aluminum. It has a piano hinge built in, uh, and it's a little bit big for conduit, but you can just run a bolt through, and then it uh, does a good job of hinging two pieces of conduit that are parallel. Um, so thanks for that tip, Nick. It looks like a great, great build. Nice backyard. Awesome. Here is one by Ryder, and uh, we did it. We recently did an interview with Ryder. Uh, about his build. I loved it so much. So check that out if you want more information on this build. But some of the highlights, he's got retractable sunshades on uh, these wires that are carabiner to maker pipe on either side or conduit on either side. So you can roll those, push those things back and tie them up so you don't have the sunshade. And then when you're up there, um, pull them back and get that benefit of the shade. And Ryder's an engineer, so he put some thought into this. And it looks, you know, being on a rooftop, you want it to be secure for sure. He mounted it to the raised beds that he's got here. Uh, he even has some hops growing up uh, the, the shade the structure, which is really neat. Beautiful rooftop deck, absolutely. And then one thing I really liked that he did was he, he kind of boxed the top structure. And what that does is it gives it a lot of rigidity when you have those two horizontals separated. The more you can separate it, the more rigid it would be. And you can see he uh, cantilevered this section of the deck over this corner. So he needed this to be rigid. And if he had just one piece of conduit, suspended over there, it might've flexed a lot, but because he's got two, it made it a lot more rigid. Um, and uh, I like how he also, another really cool tip is, uh, think about where you wanna have your continuous lengths of conduit. Uh, you might not always wanna break the conduit in the same place. So you can see like this yellow piece that he did, it's continuous, um, and then this is continuous, which is definitely gonna be as strong uh, as he can. He could have very well put a, a four-way here and a four-way here and broken up that horizontal piece, but that wouldn't have been as strong. So he was definitely thinking this through and it came out great. What a beautiful picture. So thanks, Ryder. Uh, I appreciate it. I had a great time talking with you with the interview and uh, I just love your build. It's great. Here is a video on YouTube from a community member. Uh, this is from MKE Gadgets. Great channel and uh, has a, a wealth of knowledge in the shop. And MK Gadgets has a shop vac system uh, throughout his whole shop and it's automated and it's really neat. Like uh, you pull out the shop vac uh, attachment out of a holder and it turns on the shop vac. And his shop vac is, um, it's been around for a while. Check this out. He's got a, uh, a shop back then they don't make them like that anymore and he has been just uh, upgrading it and that's what he was doing in this video he was using maker pipe to upgrade his shop back and his organization so 
Um, really cool video. Definitely go check that out uh, by MKE Gadgets. I think you're going to like that. Um, and thanks for the support as well. We really appreciate it. And to end it off the episode, we've got a comment, a bunch of comments. Jake did this video a few days ago, a week back where he compared all the different community ways to make a hinge. I mean, you guys are so creative with the ways you come up with to do different things. So we did uh, eight ways to make a hinge using EMT conduit. Check that video out. And then uh, we got a lot of comments from MK Gadgets, Raymond, Ron, Rayan, um, Tao, I mean, Dale, and uh, designed by Lonnie. Thanks so much for your comments. They were saying which one they wanted to see more in depth. Uh, so go ahead and check out that video. We appreciate your comments. Thanks for sharing your builds. We love seeing them. And uh, thanks everybody for watching as usual. Take care.